On today's episode, I'm going to show you how to install a BL Touch Auto Level on an Ender 3 V2, right here at Filament Friday. Filament Friday is brought to you every week by the generous donations of these Patreon supporters. This video is sponsored by PCB Way. PCB Prototype the Easy Way with a full featured custom printed circuit board prototype service from PCB Way. For this project, Creality sent me this BL Touch Auto Bed Leveling Sensor Kit for the Ender 3 V2. It's $45.99. I'll put a link to it in the description below if you want to use the same one. Back in 2017 at the Bay Area Maker Fair, I had the honor of actually meeting the inventor of the BL Touch. Her name is Paris, and I also met her father, who happens to be a fan of the channel. So now let's install Paris's BL Touch on an Ender 3 V2. To prepare for the install, make sure your bed is clean. It'll help a lot. And also clean the nozzle, get any filament off that thing. And then manually level the bed. So that way we have a good starting point. The kit includes a bracket and screws designed to work with the Ender 3 V2. And there's two holes on the hot end bracket that this can screw into. Those holes are already drilled and tapped. So this is pretty easy. Just take the two screws, tighten it, and there's your BL touch mount. Now we need to install the BL Touch to that mount, and there's two screws included in the kit for that as well. Just tighten those up, and you're installed. The wiring has a large connector and a small connector. The small connector goes into the BL Touch. I should have put this wire in before I installed the BL Touch, but I was able to get it in place and push it down with an Allen wrench. I cut off all the tie straps around the wiring loom, and then removed the cover from the electronics. There's one screw on top and three on the bottom. Once you get those screws out, the cover can come right off. Next, I took a long piece of copper wire, looped the end of it, and slid it into the sleeving that surrounded the wiring. Once I got it through, I wrapped it around the connector of the BL Touch and pulled it all the way through. I had to wiggle it at points, but it came all the way through. There is a five pin connector already on the board for the BL Touch with the locking connector towards the LCD connector. Push that in and you're all set. From there, I just restrapped the wiring at all the points where I had cut the tie straps before, so it was back to normal, but now the BL Touch was installed. Make sure you don't pinch the wires when you put the cover back on and that the wiring is away from the fan. When you turn power on, the BL Touch will click twice, indicating that everything is properly connected. For firmware, I'm going to use this GitHub Gyres Marlin Release. He's got several different versions for the V2. If you scroll down, there's an Ender 3 V2 BL Touch 3x3 for the version 4.2.2 board, which is what we have. Copy that to an SD card, shut off power, put the SD card in place, turn power on, and after about 15 to 20 seconds, you should see the screen come up. It's now installed. We have to tell the firmware where our BL Touch is relative to the nozzle, so we have to give it an X and a Y direction, and also a Z offset. So let's look at the X and Y first. From the main menu, go into the control menu. Within the control menu, there's an advanced menu. Click on that, and you'll see a probe X and Y offset. Now measure the offset in the X and Y direction. You don't have to be exact. And then put a negative value for both of those. Negative 44 is what I measured, and negative six for Y. Then go back, go down to store settings, Click on that and now those settings are stored. The BL Touch now becomes a Z stop switch so I move the existing Z stop switch down and now let's do an auto home and make sure it levels at the center of the bed. The printer will home in the X and Y direction as normal but then the probe will go to the center of the bed and it'll sense the bed twice. At that point it's homed. Now just to verify I measured mine and it's almost exactly at the center of the bed. For Z offset, we actually go into the prepare menu, and then there is a Z offset menu item. Go down to Z offset, and you can see it's set to zero right now. So you can just home the Z from this menu. And what it will do is go to the center of the bed and probe twice, but then move the nozzle to the center and lower it down to where the printer thinks zero is. Now you can see it's not zero, it's well off the bed, so we need to adjust our Z offset. The first thing you want to do is enable live adjustment. And then I measured mine and I knew I was at least 3.5 millimeters off the bed. So I set it to 3.5 
And then I slid a piece of paper under the nozzle and used the micro step down to lower it until I felt the paper rubbing. In this case, at minus 3.76, it was rubbing. So I stopped right there and then I click save. We're ready to run the auto level. I have my screen darker so you can see it. You click on the level menu, then confirm, and it'll start auto leveling. First, it'll go to the center so it can home the z-axis. Then it'll go to the first point which is in the upper left corner. It measures that and then it'll go around this bed in a three by three arrangement, so nine total points. And it'll take a reading at each point and form a mesh. And once it has that, you just click confirm and it'll save that mesh to EEPROM. Before we can slice a file, we have to follow the instructions on his wiki. For the BL Touch, he says we need to install M420 space S1 in the start G code. That will enable the mesh. So here I have a test print in Cura. I'm going to go into my printer, into Manage Printers, into Machine Settings, and you can see that I've already added the M420 S1 with a comment auto level. So it's going to pull the mesh in automatically during the start code. So I slice this, put it on an SD card, and here's the result. Not really what I expected, but then I did base my Z offset on just sliding a piece of paper. So let's fix that. Once you start a print, you can use the Tune menu to live adjust that Z offset. Click on Tune, scroll down to the Z offset, and now you can step it up or down. Similar to my manual bed level video, what I do is I rub my finger on the bed, and then I just step it up or down. In this case, I'm stepping it down to get it to stick a little better. Just go around this, and then you'll get a better Z offset, and then you can save that value. After the live adjust, here's the results. It's not perfect. My left front corner is still a little bit off, but overall I got a pretty even print here with the auto level. Then I ran my normal bed level print, just like I do for manual bed level, and it looks really good, except for the left front corner is a little bit off, but overall, the auto level seems to be working well. I've had a lot of requests for this, so there you go. That's how I recommend you install a BL Touch on an Ender 3 V2. There are clones out there, so make sure you get an actual BL Touch. You can see it right on the circuit board. And speaking of circuit boards, PCBWay.com is a great place to get low-cost circuit boards, but you can also get assembly services. You can supply them the parts or give them a bill of material with the parts list. They will track down the parts, solder things together, review it with you during the process, and at the end ship you completely assembled boards. So if you're looking for a manufacturing partner for your electronics designs, check out PCBWay.com. If you like what I'm doing here, maybe check out some of the other videos popping up, and if nothing else, click on that CHEP logo and subscribe. I'll see you next time right here at Filament Friday.